In this tutorial, we'll walk through how you can conduct revenue analysis and utilize FutureView Foundation and its Excel add-in to dynamically update the charts data from your ERP without any manual intervention. So essentially the process is a one-time report setup, which we'll walk through here. And you'll have an ongoing synchronization to update the metrics and charts with just a couple of clicks. Now, you're looking at the finished product for these tutorial videos. We have four revenue analysis items with different types of charts and even a list. This will be our first video tutorial, and we will go over how you can determine your top 10 customers by revenue and create a dynamic table. To quickly view multiple time periods, we'll create a year selector and showcase the 2017 data and the 2018 data that we have up to June, just to give you a view at what a current mid-year example might look like. So let's begin by creating our top 10 customer list. Click Add Worksheet at the bottom right of Excel, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift F11. This is where we will set up our new pivot tables. To keep things organized, we'll name this Revenue Analysis. We need to access the income statement data, which we have in Excel via the foundation integration with our ERP, which is NetSuite. So we'll click to access the income statement data sheet. Now we need a pivot table. At the top, click Insert, Insert Pivot Table, and Excel will highlight all of the data. And Excel's usually pretty good at this, but it's always worth a double check just to make sure you have all the data you need selected. And I can place this exactly where I want. I want it on the revenue analysis, and I'm going to want it around, say, cell D12. So I'll click that and hit Enter. Then click OK. Great. Now we can populate the fields to produce our report. You can click and drag your desired fields to the given areas below. For time's sake, we'll show you the final setup, but feel free to pause this video and copy the correct setup shown here. Okay, now click the row labels drop down arrow and find the value filters. Go to the bottom to sort for only the top 10. We've got our top 10 customer list displayed now. At the bottom, you'll see one of the rows is blank. Be sure to filter your secondary account type by revenue to display the full list of top 10. Okay, now the blank one is gone and we have our count equal to 10. Although we have what we need, we're not quite satisfied with this visual representation. So we need to do a little formatting. The first thing we're going to do is change the number format to comma separated with no decimal points. We want the sum of account USD to display as revenue USD. And Excel is referencing the name of our column header in column M. So we need to tell it not to. Right click on sum of account USD and select value field settings. Then we can rename our field to revenue USD. Now I'm going to sort this descending by revenue so that we can get these in the proper order. All right, that looks much better. Let's select fiscal year 2017 to show our results for that year. You can change the appearance and color of the chart. Just click design at the top. You can customize if you want to change the rows, columns, and headers color. Really, you can get as wild as you want with this, but we're gonna keep things a little bit neutral for this example. We can add a border around these cells to make it a little easier on the eye. So let's put a box around the two headers. We'll also add a box around the list items by highlighting the rows and adding an open border. Then we can give this list a title, so let's call it Top 10 Customers. Now I'm going to merge the title so that it's centered and I'll underline it as well. And there you have it, our list of Top 10 Customers with Revenue. Now we need to add the slicer, which is how we're able to select by year. This allows us, with just one click, to cycle through the data for all of our graphs or tables. First, click anywhere on your pivot table. Then, in the ribbon at the top, find Pivot Table Analyze, and I'm going to select Insert a Slicer. I'm going to insert it just for the fiscal year. So, as you can tell, this looks a little out of order, but this is just because there's some blank 2016 lines in our data. If I click 2018 and 2017, you'll notice the list changes accordingly. And so these pivot tables can get a little funky, but 
since we are only formatting the appearance for the 2017 results and 2018, we can change the appearances to add the borders, center align them, number format, and try to match the appearances as best we can. Okay, and there we go. Now we have our 2017 and our mid-year progress of 2018 for top customers. And we can rename the slicer by right-clicking and going to Slicer Settings. And we'll rename this slicer, select year instead of fiscal year. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. With Foundation and the Excel add-in, once you set up this report once, you can click to refresh your ERP financial data and automatically update your list without having to manually aggregate the data or create these pivot tables again. If you're interested in learning more about FutureView Foundation and other finance solutions we offer, visit us at futureviewsystems.com.